So my dudes Valk here, and today I'm going to be bringing up a topic that I talk about a lot. In fact, I made a video about it about 20 days ago, but I want to make another video about it. I limited because I've noticed you guys really like the uh, rants that I do. You guys like the longer videos that are just me ranting and talking about topics in the game in the Genshin community uh, as a whole. And so I wanted to recover this topic, but I wanted to go on a proper rant. Because last time I made sure to make the video short. It took me about four hours to finally come up with a way to say what I wanted to say. And keep it short at the same time. But this time, it's going to be the very first take I do. I'm going to see how long it is after I get done, but I'm just going to speak my mind on it. And it is the amount of people that have elitism in this game. And they're always wanting to have the absolute best in this game. Which, if you want to, I'm telling you it's perfectly fine to play that way. But, the thing is, I get asked by a ton of new people who ask me all the time, which unit's better than this one, which unit's better than this one, and it's never like, they seem to kind of miss the point in the fact that literally any unit can be good if you hyperinvest. Any of them. And you're eventually going to hyperinvest in a character anyways, so you might as well make it a unit you enjoy, but they seem to miss that point because what they see is they see like my Xiao deal ridiculous damage so then they're like oh Xiao must be amazing whenever in reality Xiao's not even like one of the best DPSers whenever if you're comparing fully maxed out to fully maxed out and the amount of investment I've had to put into Xiao between financial and resources is fucking insane but you like they, they're kind of missing that point out and same thing with like as it keeps going on and keeps going forward it's not because of the way the resources in this game works it's not feasible to chase best it's the best is going to be whoever you invest in the most and i have to say this a lot on stream i'm telling you at least five to six times daily to try to help people out um don't chase the best units unless you really like the unit if you really like the unit then by all means go for it. If you're debating between one unit and the other unit, like there's a reason I don't do direct comparison videos, um, then you're kind of missing the point because each unit kind of feels a niche. There's, only, there's very few units that directly overlap, like Amber and Ganyu, they directly overlap in playstyles, but there's very, very few units that directly overlap in playstyles. And in the end, you're going to want to trial run every unit and find units you really enjoy playing the game. Because if you don't enjoy the unit you're playing, but your unit's just wiping everything out, you're not going to enjoy playing the game. You're going to be one of the very first people to quit when content gets dry, like right now. Because you're not having fun playing the game anyways, because you don't enjoy the unit you have, you just have the unit you want as power. And if you don't enjoy any of the units currently, you don't think they're good, and you just want to have a strong team, then just save your primos up and invest in a 4-star. There's so many strong 4-stars, Lisa, Kaya, etc., they're strong, and you get them for free. Kai is extremely strong. He has one of the highest normal tech multipliers in the game. And he's a cryo, so he can trigger Superconduct. So he can go into Fizz build Kai, and he's very, very, very strong. Um, so, like, it's really baffling to me how many people get really amped up and confused about new unit, best unit, etc. And it's like, bro, you just gotta relax and you gotta invest in the units you really like. In the end, this game turns into a resource management and a time investment game. Because time is the most precious resource you'll ever have. And so investing your time into units, preparing for units upcoming in the future that you're really excited for or anything like that, equates to extremely valuable units. So you really get, whenever you get to the point of hyper investing on units, you're going to start to see bigger damage differences. Once you learn how to build it, you're going to see bigger different damage differences. But one thing you'll never be able to do is chase units constantly. Let's say, for example, Rosario comes out and she's absolutely batshit broken. Guess what? I can't build her because I used all my shadows on Chow. So whenever you invest in a unit, you're never going to be able to constantly chase, 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 chase. You're going to have to wait. Like the people that hyper invested in the child, dumped all their uh, shards in the child, then Hu Tao comes. Oh no. Now all of a sudden Hu Tao is the absolute best damage dealer. Well, guess what? You, think you invested everything into child, so now how are you supposed to invest into Hu Tao, right? So you don't need to worry about best too much because you'll never be able to attain it. Especially, I haven't even got into the financial investment yet. It basically costs a digital edition of a PS5 every single time you want a new 5 star if you're not really lucky. 
if you have average luck or you're just losing the 50 50s constantly it's anywhere from 300 to 400 dollars per new five star in the game that's not even counting the weapon that you need to make them the best dps and then the weapon cost can go even more so you're looking at upwards of let's say for example for hu tao well i didn't get homa for hu tao i got it for Shao. but let's say i got homa for hu tao and i did just the costs of hu of homa plus hu tao that's six hundred dollars between the two that's one unit and guess what the next dps is probably going to be better than hu tao because that's how gacha gains work the next unit is always the best unit so you're never going to be able to keep up with best so don't chase best guys don't chase best. I mean, it's really, like I said, I'm really ranty whenever it comes to this subject because it's really important to me to drive this point home. Play the game you want to play. This is a single player game. Don't stress other people's builds. Don't stress other people's damage numbers. Play your own game. I don't even know what other people are doing half the time. I gotta get informed by my viewers to see what people are doing. To see what other builds people are trying because I live in such a bubble because this is a, this is my world. This is my game, right? And I'm gonna do things my way in the end. So, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter, like, what I, what other people do. It doesn't matter. It matters what I want to do and how I want to play my game and how I want to experience the game in my way. And that might not line up with other people. Like, people constantly question my team compositions on the teams that I'm doing. The reason my teams are the way they are is I like to farm friendship with multiple characters at a time. So, I'm constantly swapping characters in and out to farm friendship levels. So, it all comes down to how you want to play your game. And you want to find units that are extremely, especially free to play. you got to be extremely picky. You need to find units that you really, really enjoy. And you don't need to take other people's advice. Ignore my advice, even. If you like chasing big damage number, completely ignore this shit. It doesn't matter, dude. It doesn't matter. You like chasing, you like wailing out and having the absolute best damage dealer every single time. There is a new best damage dealer, which is the next DPS that's going to come out. Um, then ignore what I'm saying, because that's just how the game is. It's a gotcha game. You want to wail out? It's your money, dude. I'm I'm not I'm not your financier. <laughs> I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money. Your money, spend it how you want. You want to wail out? Go nuts. I'm just here to give advice to newer people who might get led astray, and that is play the game you want. This is your game. Nobody should be able to tell you how to enjoy your game because nobody knows you. I don't know you. The other content creators don't know you. We don't know how you like to enjoy your game. Nobody does but you. And you have to figure out the units you like to use because only you will be able to enjoy your game the way you want to. Anyways guys, that's all. I'm um, Hopefully this rant wasn't too, too long for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, you got something away from it. Um, thank you all for always just watching. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I hope you all are doing good and I really hope this this video Honestly, like seriously, I hope this video helped some of you out. I hope this video cleared some of your heads about this because this is, like I said, the second rant I've done on this, but this is going to be the last time I make a video on this because I don't like making videos on the same subject. There's a lot of things to talk about, but I don't like making videos on the same subjects. Anyways, hopefully this helps all of everybody out that watches because I know every time I bring this up, I, I click light bulbs in people's heads like, oh shit, you know. Maybe he's kind of right. So hopefully this video clicks for with a lot of you guys. I'll catch you all later. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.